can patients advocate for a precise lung cancer diagnosis and why is that important? It's of course important because it changes their everything in that they would be able to be offered in terms of treatment. And so I think that it is important to talk to one, understand, really understand what your lung cancer is, right? What is the stage? What are the treatment options? And if there are treatment options that are not options for you, why is that? And is that because of special testing that has been done? So I think it's always important to ask, have, are there other special tests that I need to have on my tumor or on the biopsy? Um, and are there, and if, if patients have questions about what options that they have, I think it's important for them to understand why some options are theirs and why other options may not be good options for them uh, and how their physician is making, making those decisions. Because I do think the more you understand about this, the better you can advocate for the types of treatments you can, you can um, access. When deciding on a treatment approach with a patient, what do you take into account when making the decision? So we take into account all the things that we've been talking about. Of course, the number one most important part is the histology. So what the kind of cancer is. Number two is what the stage is. Uh, and then number three is the, the, the health characteristics of that patient. Um, do they have underlying health um, problems that would impact the types of treatment that we would consider? Um, and then uh, ultimately, what is what are the goals of the patient, right? So we, of course, we have lots of different options, but it's going to be important to partner with the patient and their family to understand where they are in their life and what kinds of treatments are feasible um, and acceptable to them. What about treatment side effects? Do you take that into consideration? Absolutely. So I think it's really, so I always talk about the, my, my two primary goals for when I'm treating a patient is one is to help them live as long as they can. And number two is to help them live as well as they can. And I do think it is critical to understand the side effects of our treatments and how that may impact um, the patient and what, what their underlying um, issues are. So for example, if I have a patient who comes to me who already has significant neuropathy because of a prior diagnosis of some kind, I, we need to strongly consider the types of treatments we're using to, of, to consider one that doesn't cause neuropathy, right? And often there are different treatments that we have where we can really consider the side effects and quality of life for patients uh, in terms of what we have. I'll also say that treatments and the supportive care that we have to offer have become better over time. So yes, of course, we still give, we, we give toxic treatments, but we definitely are able to support people better with the side effects that they have um, to try to minimize those and make it as tolerable as we can. Mm -hmm.